Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Aeroplane Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about the new aeroplane which is expected to start November 8, uh, 2020. So the aeroplane just you know rearranged uh, everything and they are starting uh, as a brand new aeroplane although you'll be able to you know, convert your points so all the points you have is not going to be wasted so it will be just converted to the new aeroplane program and instead of calling it uh, aeroplane miles they will call aeroplane points and today I'm going to go over some uh, basics uh, you need to know about this new aeroplane program so when I uh, while I uh, talk about the new features and some of the new highlights then uh, I'll be playing uh, some scenes from my business class trip uh, from uh, Auckland, sorry, from Melbourne to Auckland, uh, which you will see in the background, and then uh, I'll Hello, you know talk about uh, these points. So this is just not to you know bore you only with the talking. So you can you know see my business class flight and possibly the business class lunch. Uh, and if you'd like to know about uh, see the more uh, uh, of the flight and lounge review, uh, there will be a description. Uh, uh, links in the description box below so start with the first point I have here so the launch date or the starting date of the new airplane program is November 8 2020 and the first uh, point I'd like to mention that uh, this program is going to have longer expiration right now it's at uh, 12 months but it's starting uh, it will have 18 months and even if it uh, you know expires let's see if you expire your points after 18 months uh, they're uh, very you know lenient to give you back your points uh, you have to just like you know uh, take a few steps or take uh, flights which i'll not go into detail right now so that's uh, one of the f new features uh, longer expiration and then uh, they're going to start a new earning structures so based on uh, amount you fly your earning structure is going to be uh, based on the amount uh, you know you pay instead of based on the distance you fly so this is another major change and uh, right now you know it's called aeroplane aeroplane miles but it's going to be aeroplane points because you know your uh, earning structure is not based on uh, the distance or what you're flying so based on your uh, the money or the amount of money you're spending so this is the first thing you need to know this is the very uh, first uh, basic of the new aeroplane and the second one is going to be uh, there's no more fuel surcharges uh, this is something i always didn't like about airplane uh, whenever uh, you would travel uh, with uh, you know airplane partner they would impose a hefty fuel surcharges sometimes the surcharge would be same as like you know a uh, plane ticket so for example on a business class flight from let's say north america to asia you could be paying like you know seven hundred to thousand dollars fuel surcharges which made no sense so this is going to be eliminated uh, there will be no more uh, fuel Not charges or fees in surcharges uh, when you fly air canada however if you're flying Each partners program uh, that's what uh, you know and has which i'm looking forward to do it because uh, there will be a lot more partners uh, under the new program they're going to be paying only 39 dollars canadian partner uh, fee which is uh, I would say nothing comparing like what you, what you used to pay like you know uh, hundreds, hundreds of dollars fuel surcharges so this is another very good feature of the new airplane which is going to be starting when the new airplane program starts so that's number two so number three is there's no more seat restrictions uh, blackouts every seat actually is going to be a reverse seat and every seat is going to be available uh, however uh, there are going to be two different like you know ways you can uh, buy or you can redeem your points uh, Air Canada seats are going to be variable points so based on like you know the market fare so you're going to be paying either like you know more or less uh, depending on what the market value of the fare but whenever you're booking the partner uh, redemption so you're like you know redeeming airplane points for other uh, Star Alliance partner members then you're going to be paying fixed points only so which is the most uh, part you are looking for and then starting uh, the new airplane program uh, you're going to have even points and cash redemption uh, option which we didn't have it before so you can uh, redeem certain uh, points plus you can you know uh, fill up the balance with the uh, cash uh, so you had basically you're just buying uh, points uh, the uh, requirement uh, 
the so basically you're buying just you know additional points uh, with cash instead of paying 100% with points so this is another option you have and then uh, the travel zones actually there's going to be only four travel zones so starting uh, uh, November 8th so is going to be North America South America uh, Atlantic and Pacific zone and uh, you'll be able to use like you know airplane points more way so you can just let's say upgrade to business class you can buy Wi-Fi you can have uh, elite lounge access and you can have baggage fees so you're going to have more option when it comes uh, the new airplane so another important change uh, they're making is that you know you'll be able to share points uh, so let's say if you have a family member of four uh, actually they're allowing up to eight members uh, but just for an example if you have a member of four or five then you can pull points together and you can earn points together and you can redeem points together so which is a very good feature for those who have a family or who are more than one person and that way you can actually accelerate your points uh, earnings uh, because of the share points uh, option or feature so this is something uh, very uh, good for those if you are you know if you're a family or if you're more than one person living together so definitely this is another feature to look for uh, and number five i have here that you know uh, there's going to be stopovers and open jaws however uh, before stopovers were free but now uh, in order to get a stopovers you're going to be paying five thousand points on each way so what is a stopover it just means that you know uh, you are stopping in the middle of your destination and on a one-way trip and if it's a two-way trip then you can stop you can make this like in you know, a two destination so for example let's say you're going to Sydney from Toronto and then you'd like to stop over at Singapore so you're gonna be just paying only 5,000 more points to stop over uh, in Singapore and on your way back let's say you're coming back from to Sydney to Toronto but uh, you can stop over in let's say Kuala Lumpur and then you can uh, you have to just pay another 5,000 points more which is uh, you can, you'll be sa able to save lots of money and uh, lots of points uh, because of the stopover feature so this is something really to look forward and then there's another uh, option that open jaws uh, which is actually free uh, they're not charging anything for this so you can have a if you have a round trip uh, then you can use open jaws and what it means that uh, your destination uh, on your on the first uh, uh, trip uh, let's say you have a round trip and on your first trip your destination is Sydney and but you're not going to come back from Sydney so let's say you're going from Toronto to Sydney and you're coming back so what do you do you're uh, booking the first uh, uh, trip uh, on one-way trip from Toronto to Sydney but on the return trip you're going to be booking from Melbourne to Toronto so why would you want to do that uh, this is because you know you may want to like you know trade uh, take a bus or some other means or you know you can just rent a car to drive from Sydney to Melbourne or it can be any any place anywhere uh, this is just an example so this feature gives you an option to see you know more places and this is something really uh, you know very uh, helpful and uh, this would be actually free you don't have to pay any points for this but uh, the condition is that it has to be a round trip uh, to uh, utilize this uh, feature so that's number five so these are all the basic things you need to know uh, if you'd like to more you can just visit the uh, airplan uh, website which is airplan.com and again this is not a paid or affiliated review and uh, you know on this channel I have a variety of videos not just on points and uh, and on this channel i have a variety of videos not just on point but i have other videos too thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank this you this is my first experience with Qantas business class and it was a pleasant flight i found nothing to complain about i definitely will not hesitate to fly Qantas again in the future if the opportunity arises Qantas business class food was great. I started with seared ocean trout with shard corn, jalapeno lime and coriander. Then 
Main course was red braised chicken with stir fried gantai, shitek mushrooms, black beans, and jasmine rice. Finally, I ended up with a Maggie Bear salted honey ice cream and a coffee. Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing to this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming from New Zealand. So I'll see you shortly.